Welcome to the bar. My name is Benji. And this is Anthony. And we welcome to another hub movie news rants. Everything going on. Not review. Movie, not reviews. A little little segment that we had just kind of explaining what's news. There isn't too much to be honest, but there is a couple of little stories. As tradition, you know, Hollywood's slowing down for <laughs> yes, the summer. It is. Pretty much everyone takes August off. Oscar movies are coming around, I think. Yeah. They're gonna start coming. So hopefully, you know, we'll get more news of a head start. I'm about looking th- forward to the fall already. Yeah, some of, there are some really good ones coming out, and like hopefully we'll get you more news. You know, there isn't too much, so that's why we don't have them consistently. But you know what? There is some good ones today. Uh so why don't you go ahead, sir? I'm really excited for this because you know me, old man Luke over here, Logan. Um, Death Wish is coming out. Uh, it's directed by Eli Roth. It stars Bruce Willis. And if you remember, this is from 1974 with Charles Bronson. Yeah. I grew up with Charles Bronson <laughs> and I grew up with, you know, I don't know. I grew up with Bruce Willis. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> That's you the know, world. two badasses. And um, I, from the trailer, it's, they're trying to make it a little funny, which I'm not really digging, but. If you want to go through the source material, go check out this movie. It's a little violent. Um, there's uh, Denzel Washington for the first time. Comes out in this 1974 oh, version. Yeah. Mm, for the I very know. first time you get to see him. And so, yeah. Um, it's about this guy who... I kind of don't want to give it away. I'd rather you guys go watch the trailer. Okay, but okay, there's going to okay. be a link, right? Yes, I will put a link. Yeah. Some of it will be playing as we're talking. Um, yeah, it looks really <laughs> good. I did see the trailer. I don't know. I've never seen Death Wish, so I'm going to check Your that out. The original one's really good. I need to see that. Um, but it reminds me of another film... Um, it's called Payback with like Mel Gibson, <laughs> oh. um, something like that with a little actiony. But um, Bruce That's Willis is kind of funny. Payback with Mel Gibson. Yeah, uh, but Bruce Willis is a lot better. I think yeah. he's one of the only action heroes that to this day is still looking like a badass. To yeah, me. and it's bringing him back into the big screen. Exactly, he's, he's been doing some uh, straight to DVD kind of stuff lately. Yeah, so it looks really good. So you know, hopefully, you know, it is good. So we'll see when that comes out, guys. Um, what about you? What do you got? Speaking about trailers and movies that are coming up, I have an amazing, amazing story about an amazing book that I actually read, and one of my favorite books, one of the only books I honestly have ever read. Um, it's called Ready Player One. Ready Player One is coming out in 2018. This has been talked about for years now. Um, it's a story about, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to spoil it. I'm not even going to talk about it because you guys need to read this book. Before you watch this movie, I do recommend. I'm going to read. be reading it since you're going to be learning to yeah, me, right? Yeah, I actually have I have the physical copy and I have a digital copy. That's Ooh. how amazing this, this book is. I personally love this film. Um, love the book, sorry. Um, going into film, I'm a little skeptical about the trailer just because I really love the book itself. Um, but the really it brings this comfort to what a video game world would be. But it also gives you what society would be, how it's been. It's kind of based off of like apocalyptic time. So it looks really good. I saw the trailer tonight and yeah. it looks very interesting for someone who doesn't know anything about this book. It kind of looks like um, My Giant Robot or something. Like, there's, like um, a, it, there's a lot of different things. It, um, a lot of different little Easter eggs and um, a lot of like homages to a lot of characters. Which that's the part of the trailer that I'm like, oh, about. Just because in the actual book there is references to video games uh-huh. uh, but not m- a lot of not movie as heavy references as yeah it exactly is. Okay. but you know what like from what i've been reading a lot of people are saying that it's going to be better than the book i don't know how factual that is as you saw our latest review of dark tower you don't understand <laughs> why yeah. um but yeah i'm really excited that's something that i'm really looking forward to but speaking about movies that are coming out and everything that's getting developed and everything that's popping up and everything that's happening right now um there's two big movies well First of all, 2018 is going to be crazy. It's we already be... have our eyes on summer of next year. So. Yeah, it's so many movies. And I don't know if it's going to be overkill. It, it's a big amount of superhero movies. It's a big amount of like um, bringing back sequels. Do you and think doing... it's going to end with Infinity War? Do you think, do you think it's supposed it, to? It's, it's supposed just... to end with that. And then apparently they're, they're already planning on something else after that. What it is, I don't know. Mm. Hopefully it's not more remakes. Yeah. Um, but or one of the reboots. big ones is Ant-Man. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, and what a... Sleeper pleasant hit this was. Like, yes, I, I he had to movie. drag me to the theater. He's like, you need to see this movie, and I'm like, no, no, no. And then when I, I was like, oh my god, this. If you haven't seen that man, please do it. The little so teaser that funny. they show is hilarious. You yes. see the big chairs, and then they zoom in Michael, into the. What's uh, Michael Pena? Yeah, oh my they, god. they they zoom in into the little chairs, and you see Ant Man and the Wasp, <laughs> and it's a great little teaser. It's being developed, so it's supposed to come out in 2018. So um, I'm excited for that. But another movie that's actually coming out in 2018 that I'm excited 
excited. I'm really excited for actually a specific rim, but we just heard some news that it's going to be moved about two to three months. Is it getting before. pushed? It's being pushed to March, which is not a bad thing. I think development wise, you know, you want to get your best out there. Yeah. Um, if you're going to delay something, delay it. It's okay. I'm really excited just because I really love the first one. Um, it's something where yeah. you know bringing in the world of kaiju's and monsters and and the mechs. It was really great. It was a real sleeper in my opinion. Um, it was. that came out of nowhere. So that's another movie that's coming out. But there's so much. You have Star Wars. You have Disney films. You have Marvel. You have DC coming out with big ones. So 2018 is going to be a huge... We're going to be broke next year. Yeah. It's going to be a huge Send year, guys. Money. <laughs> but yeah, guys, let us know down below. What are you excited for? Are you excited for any of the movies that are coming out soon? Like It, Death Wish, you know, Ready Player One, Ant-Man. Any of these movies that you're looking at. Um, what, what are you guys expecting? What are you guys really looking forward to? Don't forget to check us out on social media. You know that uh, we love to be on Instagram all the time, and we're also on Facebook, and we also tweet sometimes, and Tumblr. Don't forget yeah, Tumblr. We do, there. Up, we do up, uh, up to you guys with all of this information that we have on the Hub, so you guys get little glimpses there as well. All right, guys, if you guys like the Hub, little news thing that we have going on, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. Have a good one.